Hey everybody, it's David. Welcome back to the channel. So this is going to be kind of an impromptu video. Um, it's after 11 o'clock in the evening. I'm uh, just kind of going through my YouTube feed. And I see there's a new trailer from uh, Sony Pictures uh, for The Pope's Exorcist. Uh, I see that Russell Crowe is in it. Uh, but I've been told I need to do more trailer reactions or reviews of movies on my channel. So I thought, you know what? What the heck? I'll do one kind of on the off the cuff. Uh, before I watch it, though, just want to give you kind of my opinion on possession movies. Uh, I find that they are sometimes more scarier than your average slasher movies. I'm not the most spiritual person. I did grow up going to church and you know, a lot of those values have been instilled in me. I mean, I'm a big believer of doing to others, uh, but I've not attended church in 23, 24 years. I don't believe in organized religion. I don't think you have to go to church to be seen to be a good person, so anyways. Uh, but as far as possession movies go, uh, in my opinion, none will ever top The Exorcist. That one set the bar so very high, and it's been very hard for anyone to come close to it. Now, there are a few movies that I do really enjoy that are possession-type movies. Uh, the Exorcism of Emily Rose and The Right are two movies that I really enjoyed. Uh, but this one that came out last year... Earlier this year, um, I, I didn't care much for it. I, in fact, I don't even remember the name of the movie now. Uh, it was the movie about the female exorcist. But anyways, let's go ahead and get this going, and uh, I will give you my reaction in three, two, one. Whatever you do, you only do because God allows it. Father Gabriele Amoric. On the night of June 4th, you performed an exorcism. That was not an exorcism. The majority of cases do not require an exorcism. 98% are oh, recommended by files. him to doctors and psychiatrists. The other 2%, I call it evil. We have more questions for you, Father Mort. You have a problem with me. You talk to my boss, the Pope. There is a case that needs your attention. Bring me the priest. I'm here to help you. Every priest. Wrong priest. Take caution. There are secrets buried there. Is the Vatican sealed? The church has fought against this demon before. The Vatican covered it up. We need to find out why. You've been played. You talk to fate. Whatever you do, you only do because God allows it. Imagine what could happen if the devil possessed the soul of the Pope's exorcist. Who will defend you? My faith does not require defense. April 14th. Looks like it's got some good special effects. 
uh, I'm assuming this has a, a bigger budget than the one we just got in uh, January. Obviously, because Russell Crowe's in it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's worth checking out. I don't know if I'll see it in theaters, but uh, definitely one I'm interested in seeing. So, uh, I, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing The Pope's Exorcist. Uh, Russell Crowe's kind of had a hit or miss career lately. Uh, the last thing I saw him in was Thor. Um, was it Ragnarok, whatever it was called? Not as great as performance. I thought it was a little bit silly, if I'm being honest. And before that, it was Unhinged, which I really did enjoy seeing him in that movie. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to checking this one out. And uh, let me know. Do you want to see more of these trailer reactions, or should I just <laughs> keep with the usual format, showing records, playing music on Sundays? Let me know. That's going to do it for this video. Hope you all are doing well. And until next time, take care.